Like to leave a message, please? Not in. One point. Would you say that Hank called? Yes, it is. Oh, good evening. How are you? Oh, who the hell is that? Yes, that's right. The message is from my roommate, Larry. Would you just say that I called? It's our answering service. Said I love you? Hank, are you crazy? You didn't hear me incorrectly. That's just what I said. The message is for Larry, and it's for me, Hank, and it's just as I said, I love you. I don't know when it was I first started admitting it to myself. For a long time, I either labeled it something else or denied it completely. Christ, was I drunk last night? But there did come a time when I just couldn't lie to myself anymore. I thought about it, but I never did anything about it. I think the first time I ever really did anything about it was during my wife's last pregnancy. It was a uh, teacher's meeting here in New York. My wife didn't feel up for the trip, so I said I would come alone. That day on the train, I started to think about it. I didn't think about it. Think about it. The whole trip, I didn't think about anything else. Within 15 minutes after I'd arrived, I'd picked up a guy in the men's room of Grand Central Station. Jesus. I'd never done anything like that in my life before. I was scared to death. But he turned out to be a nice fella. I haven't seen him since, of course. The funny thing is, I can't remember his name anymore. Anyway, after that, it got easier. Practice makes perfect. <laughs>